Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, I want to give you a short overview of Feedly. Feedly is the service that I use to keep up with my favorite blogs and websites. So here I am at the Feedly homepage, and I'm going to go ahead and sign up. So let's go to the login button, and I'm going to sign in with a Google account. We'll use my dog Max's Google account here. And we'll sign him in. Now Feedly will work in your web browser. It will also work as an Android app or as an iOS app. There's also a Kindle app for Feedly. So right now I'm not following anything. I don't have any content in my Feedly account here. You can find content by browsing through some of the editor's choice topics and subjects and go through some of the featured collections that way. Or you can simply enter a website. So let's say I want to put in free tech for teachers. And there's free tech for teachers. And let's hit the plus Feedly button up here at the top. And now it's added it to a collection. It's added the title of the source and it's automatically detected that that's an education site. And now let's go ahead and click Add. And so on the left hand side now we can see Free Tech for Teachers and it's in the education section. And that's the only thing that I'm subscribed to. Let's find something else to subscribe to. I'm going to do a search for Larry Falazzo. Larry writes a great blog. There he is. And again, I'll repeat that process. Hit the plus Feedly button. I'll put it in with uh, Larry's title, education section, or I can create a new category altogether. Let's click add. Let's say I want to add a new category. So let's go ahead and we're going to add something else, like say from Open Culture. Open Culture is a great source of uh, interesting reads and videos. Let's repeat that process. And instead of calling it education, I'm going to create a new category. And I might just call it um, interesting things to me. And I'm not going to put it in the education collection. I'm just going to put it in the interesting things to me collection. And click add. And so there I have another section. You can create as many sections as you like, and you can add as many sites and feeds to your categories as you like. And again, the service will work the same way across your Android device and your web browser. So that's how you can get started with Feedly. Check it out at Feedly.com. And for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.